<laughs> I love seeing the rainbow. All the glorious colors. Blue, green, gold, yellow, orange, purple. Did you know that all these colors have meanings to God? He does nothing without a purpose. Look how beautiful that rainbow is over my garden. It's like the Lord reassuring me that His presence is always with me. He's always with us. Even in the mundane daily task of like watering our garden. You know, this makes me think about the garden of our hearts. Are we watering our hearts with the Word of God? The Word of God is truth. The Word of God is life. The Word of God sanctifies us. Amen. The Word of God is the bread of heaven, the living bread. Jesus himself says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God himself. So let us be sure to water our heart, the garden of our heart, with the word of God, the presence of God. I think it's in 1 John 1, where it says, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God. The word is God, and the word became flesh and dwell among us. Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus was the Son of God who came to dwell among His creation, His people, His children when He was here during the 33 years of His life. Amen. Jesus and His Word are one. We can never ever separate God from his word. They are forever in unity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and they are all the word, their word, the living word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass, but the word of God shall remain forever. And those who do the will of the Father shall remain, abide forever as well. Amen. That's the promises of God in his word. <laughs> Anyways, that rainbow is just so beautiful. I had to videotape it to share it with you guys. I see God in everything. He's everywhere. He is the creator of this rainbow. And the cucumbers, the cherry tomatoes in the second row, cucumber first row, that, I'm not sure what that is. My husband planted it. Can't remember what it is. It's either jalapeno or something. Different type of chilies. And here is my mint. I'm going to be plucking some of that for my ginger tea, my ginger turmeric tea today just boiled a fresh pot and we're gonna be planting some more my favorite vegetable it's like a Chinese water spinach they call it Kang Kong in Guam we call it Dragoon and I forgot what the Thais and the Laos call it but anyways it's my favorite vegetables in the whole wide world and that's lemongrass Husband worked very hard on this garden yesterday. Oh, there's a rainbow again. I can't escape the presence of God. We all know what the rainbow means, right? It is the promise of Father. The promise of God that He will never, ever, ever, ever destroy the world with a flood like He did in Noah's day. Now that does not mean that certain parts of the world will not suffer through severe flooding, tsunamis, hurricanes, and typhoons. 
It just means that he will not destroy the entire world by water again. I think it's Second Peter where it says the present world is reserved for judgment by fire. So that's how the end of the world will be destroyed when it's all said and done. And that day is in the future and I do not believe it's too far from now. So for today, we have breath in our lungs. We give God praise for his rainbow, for his vegetation and herbs and food and home, the very breath that we're breathing in our lungs, amen. We give him praise, we give him honor and glory, and we invite the Holy Spirit to come fill our hearts, to lead us, guide us, give us wisdom, revelation, understanding, counsel, might, power, and the fear of the Lord so that we will serve him all the days of our lives. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I love you guys. God bless you. Praise him now. Let everything that has, that has breath praise the Lord. Ha ha ha.